Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and today we're answering your questions all about atrial fibrillation and the use of amiodarone after heart valve surgery. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Douglas Johnston, who is the Chief of Cardiac Surgery at Northwestern Medicine in Chicago, Illinois. During his extraordinary career, Dr. Johnston has performed over 4,000 cardiac procedures with more than 3,000 involving some form of heart valve repair or heart valve replacement. Dr. Johnston, it is great to see you again and thanks for being with us today. Adam, it's great to be here. Look forward to talking. Yeah, Dr. Johnston, we're answering patient questions and we got a great one that just came in hours ago from Claudia and she asks, hi Adam, I had mitral valve repair surgery two weeks ago. I had an atrial fibrillation episode after the operation. What is the usual amount of time patients stay on amiodarone? Great question. That really depends, Claudia, on how your AFib is doing. The good thing is that while AFib is pretty common after valve surgery, um, depending on the type of operation, 15 to 25% of patients will have early AFib. The good news is that that usually goes away in the first few weeks. It peaks at about 10 days. So you're in that window and then it declines pretty steeply out to about six to eight weeks. So most often what will happen is the amiodarone is used early to help control your AFib, reduce the AFib burden and to lower your heart rate. And then you'll be rechecked at some point in time between six and 12 weeks after surgery. If you're in a regular rhythm at that point and you don't have other reasons to be on amiodarone, usually we can stop those medications at that period of time. So chances are this is a short-term plan. I would discuss that with your surgeon and cardiologist, but usually this is not something you'll need to be on for the long term. Dr. Johnson, a quick follow-on. I'm sure patients in our community are wondering, why do I get AFib after heart valve surgery? Well, Adam, that one is a tough question and no easy answer. AFib is something that we've struggled with as surgeons and cardiologists for years. It likely is related to the fact that the atrium is very sensitive to inflammation. And anytime we operate on the heart, the outside of the heart is a little irritated. That irritation can trigger these episodes of atrial fibrillation. As your heart heals and the inflammation goes down, the incidence becomes much less. So Postoperative atrial fibrillation is a very different beast than atrial fibrillation that comes up out of the blue. Still not very well understood. There are lots of studies going on to see how we can reduce that incidence. But fortunately for most patients, it's a temporary annoyance. It's not a long-term problem. Claudia, I hope that helped you. I know it helped me. And Dr. Johnson, on behalf of the patients at heartvalvesurgery.com, patients all over the world watching this video, I want to thank you for taking time away from your very busy practice there at Northwestern Medicine in Chicago, Illinois. Thanks for being with us today. Adam, thanks a lot for the opportunity and uh, we wish Claudia the best. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit parkvalvesurgery.com.